A group of entrepreneurs and former NASA scientists offered an ambitious vision of humanity's future in space yesterday when they announced the formation of Planetary Resources, a company that will mine asteroids for raw materials and in the process help pave the way for human exploration of the solar system. The company is backed by a host of famous investors, including James Cameron, the director of Titanic and Avatar, Google executives Eric Schmidt and Larry Page, and space entrepreneur Pia Diamandis, who described the venture at yesterday's press conference in Seattle as catalyzing humanity's growth both on and off the Earth. Co-founder Eric Anderson said that the company will focus on near-Earth asteroids with a view to harvesting two main commodities. One, platinum group metals, which includes platinum platinum, palladium, and osmium, and the other, water, which is common here on Earth but not so much in space. To find these things, the company will be targeting a class of asteroids known as carbonaceous chondrites, which are rich in organic molecules and water, but which disintegrate when they hit the Earth's atmosphere, so you have to go to space to find them. Anderson said that the first phase of the venture will start within two years, with the launch of a series of space telescopes into low Earth orbit to scout for the most promising near-Earth asteroids. In another two or three years, they expect to deploy what Anderson called a swarm of robotic craft working in in teams to map or prospect target asteroids. They aim to have the first group of asteroids identified within 10 years. When it comes to how the space rocks will actually be mined, the presenters were more sketchy with the details. As Anderson put it, we're still at the very beginning of what we're going to do here. In other words, uh. But earlier this month, a study done for the Jet Propulsion Laboratory concluded that the technology is currently available to mine asteroids. By 2025, robotic spacecraft could capture a 500-ton asteroid and bring it into orbit around the moon for it to be mined. And it would only cost a mere $2.6 billion and take about a dozen years. So yeah, it's possible and it might even be profitable. These guys uh, want to make money, and if you ask me, it's about time that the profit motive was brought into space exploration. As Diamandis rightly pointed out, all of human exploration has been driven by the need to find and acquire natural resources. So far, humanity has done amazing things in space, driven only by curiosity, but adding money as an incentive could take human exploration to a whole new level. And even though these planetary resources guys said that the operation would be strictly robotic, asteroid mining could effectively create new infrastructure for human space travel, particularly by harnessing water. When you think about it, manned missions pretty much need four things to succeed and thrive in space. Water, propellant, food, and oxygen. And three of those things, everything except food, can be derived directly from water and its components, oxygen and hydrogen. Plus, water can be used to create shields against cosmic radiation, and it can help in the creation of food in space. So as far as these fancy valuable metals go, hopefully that will help them make some money. But water is going to be by far the most important commodity in the future of space travel. Anderson himself said that within 10 years, his company could establish orbiting fuel stations to dispensing hydrogen and oxygen found on asteroids to power passing spacecraft. All this makes it so that we don't have to haul huge amounts of water up to the spacecraft to power them and so that astronauts don't die of thirst. All I can say is, planetary resources, best of luck to you. Thank you for watching this episode of SciShow Breaking News. If you have ideas for stuff that we should cover or questions, please ask them in the comments below or on Facebook or Twitter, and we'll see you next time.